Welcome yogis, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're gonna to be flowing through an energizing, core-focused vinyasa. So as always, take this class at your own pace. Listen to your body before you listen to my cues, but I also challenge you to kind of push yourself here. See if you can get your heart pumping a little bit and get the energy cir circulating throughout the house since we've been inside for so long. All right, awesome. Let's get started in a child's pose today. So you can bring your big toes to touch, let your knees fall to the outside edges of the mat. From here, start to sink the hips back. Let the belly nestle between the thighs. Let your forehead gently rest down to the mat. As we make our way to our mats, bring an awareness to the breath. Feel each inhale graze the upper lip, travel down the back of the throat, filling the lungs. And with each exhale, begin to soften the body, starting at the fingertips, feel the forearms, shoulders, neck soften. Good, and then we'll bring an awareness to the third eye space. The space right between your eyebrows. On the next inhale, feel yourself pulling energy up through the earth, through the third eye, into the body. And as you exhale, release this beautiful energy back into the earth, through the third eye. Good, inhale, pull in the energy. And exhale, release. Good, and on your next inhale, slowly rise to tabletop, shoulders versus Stack over wrists. Knees are under hips. Turn the crease of the elbows to point towards the front of the mat. Press the palms firmly in. Good. As you inhale, release the belly. Start to open the collarbones. Bring your gaze to the sky. Feel the abdominals lengthen. Good. Exhale. Press into the palms. Dome the spine. Gaze comes to navel. Tuck the tailbone. Inhale. Extend. Cow. Good, start to take these cats and cows at your own pace. You can move slowly. Maybe you start to find some organic movement, some fluidity, you can rock side to side, take big circles with the spine, rolling out the mid body here. Start to notice what feels good. Beautiful, next inhale, keep the right hand planted, exhale, reach open with the left, gaze up, reach up, and exhale, thread the needle, left cheek rests down to the mat. From here, right arm walks long, maybe it tucks behind the left hip crease to find a bind. Good, pause here, soften the left palm, soften the jaw. Roll the right shoulder over the left, take a deep inhale, fill up. And exhale, right hand plants, inhale, reach open with the left hand, gaze up, reach up, create space. Exhale, release. Inhale, left hand roots, exhale, right arm reaches, gaze up, reach up. And exhale, thread the needle, right cheek will rest down to the mat. Beautiful, from here, left arm can walk long out in front of you, maybe it wraps behind the right hip crease to find a bind. Soften the jaw, soften your right palm. Come back to the body, notice the breath. Beautiful, exhale, plant the left hand, inhale, reach back, open with the right, gaze up, reach up. And exhale, right hand plants. Inhale, find your neutral spine. We'll tuck the toes underneath. Take a deep inhale, fill up. As you exhale, lift the knees just an inch off the mat, just to a hover. Good, feel your lower spine tuck in towards the spine. Lower belly, rather, tucks in towards the spine. Good, just a tiny engagement here, starting to fire up the core, breathe. Awesome job, lowering down in five, four, three. Keep the mat pressing away for two, one. Exhale, release. Take a few rounds of cat and cow. You can spread the knees wide, rock side to side. Kind of keeping the body moving here in between these stagnant holds. Good, inhale back to tabletop, walk the knees into hips with distance apart. 
Tuck the toes, inhale, lengthen, crown the tail. Exhale, lift the knees just an inch off the mat, just do a hover. Awesome, shoulders are stacked over wrist. Good, now keep the left toes planted. Exhale, extend the right leg behind you. Pause, breathe. Now keep the left foot, left knee rather, dropping towards the mat. Inhale back, right foot plants. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale, left toe extends behind you. Keep the left glute engaged, hips are square. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Release the knees. Take a quick child's pose. Sink the hips back. Walk the arms out long in front of you. Good. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, side out. Good. Next inhale, start to slither the heart forward. Pull yourself into an up dog or cobra. Baby cobras, palms are planted on the mat. Just lift the heart a tiny bit. For an up dog, palms plant. Start to straighten the arms. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes. Send the hips up and back, down dog. For Adho Mukha Svanasana. Walk out your dogs here. You can drop the heels from side to side. Roll to a plank and roll back. Whatever you need here. Good. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel top of the mat. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, melt. Inhale, deep bend in the knees. Slowly rise to stand one vertebra at a time. Head is the last to arrive. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, intertwine the hands overhead. Thumb and corner fingers point up. Kali Mudra, keep the gaze lifting. Exhale, root into your left heel, reach to the right. Good, so making a big arch with the obliques, stretching out the side body. Inhale through center. Exhale, root into the right heel, lean left. Keep the right shoulder rotating open. Inhale, reach through center. Exhale, melt and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, take a flow. So remembering at any time throughout this practice, you can skip the vinyasa, you can add in, take out. So take what you need and just leave what you don't. Good, inhale in through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, sigh it out. Good, inhale, sweep the right leg overhead, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right tricep, bring it onto the elbow, engage the right oblique. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, right knee to nose, dome the spine, touch forehead to knee. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, right knee, left tricep, bring it across the body. Beautiful, now extend the right toes long. Keep the right hand planted, inhale, reach open with the left, fall in triangle. Beautiful. So for our fawns, Triangles here, hand can be reaching towards the sky. Maybe you uti to the arm, tick tock it towards the front of your mat. Feel the belly expand. Keep the right hip pressing towards the sky. Good, exhale, plant the left hand. Keep the right leg where it is, take two yogi push-ups. Elbows are in at 90. Exhale, send the right leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Inhale, right knee to nose. Engage the belly. Step the right foot between the hands, plant heel, then toes. Inhale, rise, crescent. Good, inhale, arms come to a T. Right ankle is stacked directly underneath the right knee. And take a peek at your hips here. Right hip is tracking back as the left pulls forward. Keep your belly button pressing the spine as you engage our Uddiyana Bandha. Pulls the belly in and up. Good, so arms come out to a T. Beautiful, inhale, right arm sweeps underneath the left, eagle arms. Keep the forearms reaching towards the front of the mat, elbows are lifting towards the sky. Feel the shoulder blades separating behind you. Good, sink a bit lower in the knee. Exhale, tap, elbow to knee. We're here for five. Moving slowly with intention for four. Three, awesome job everyone, two. Good, one, inhale, lift slowly, unravel the arms, reach the arms overhead. That right leg should be chirping at you by now, send it some love. 
Good, exhale. Airplane arms, palms face down, sweep the arms behind you, chest is lifted off the thigh. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, step the right foot to the top of the mat, meeting in Utkatasana chair with airplane arms. Press the pinkies in towards one another. Inhale, rise, Tadasana, sweep the arms overhead. Enjoy the break in the right leg. Exhale, cactus arms, tiny back bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, melt, Uttanasana, forward fold. Beautiful, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. Take a vinyasa, good. Coming through to an up dog or cobra. Maybe you skip the vinyasa, maybe you add a chaturanga, make it your own. Beautiful, take a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, sigh it out. Beautiful, inhale, sweep the left leg overhead, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, bring it onto the elbow. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, left knee to nose, dome the spine, find that cat like back, touch forehead to knee. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, left knee, right tricep, bring it across the body. Now pause here, extend the left leg long towards the side of the mat, keep the left hand planted, inhale, open, falling triangle. So you pick where this right arm is going to go. Listen to the body, where does it want to take you? Maybe it reaches towards the front of the room, maybe it stays reaching towards the ceiling. Beautiful, left hip is pressing towards the sky. Exhale, plant the right hand, keep the left foot where it is. Take two yogi push-ups. Exhale, send the left leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Inhale, left knee to nose. Engage the lower belly. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands, runner's lunge. Inhale, sweep both arms overhead, crescent. Beautiful. Check in with your crescent here. Left knee is over left ankle. Good. Engage your mula bandha, the pelvic floor. It's a little tiny muscle engagement. It's the, really the muscle you use when you want to stop peeing. It's a little tight engagement at the pelvic floor will make all the difference. Then we come to our Uddiyana Bandha that pulls the belly in and up, just like you were zipping up a pair of skinny jeans. And finally, our Jalahara Bandha pulls the chin down and back. Beautiful. Inhale, arms come to a T. Exhale, eagle arms sweep the left arm underneath the right. Keep the elbows lifting, forearms pressing towards the front of the room. Inhale, exhale, contract, knee to elbow. Engage the lower core. Good, keep the knee where it is. We're here for four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, unravel the arms, crescent lunge. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, step the right foot forward, Utkatasana with airplane arms. Take a deep inhale, fill up. Exhale, rise onto the balls of the feet. Stack the heels over the toes, keep the chest lifted. Good, we're here for three. Press belly button to spine for two. One, exhale, plant the heels, sweep the arms overhead. Tadasana, shake out your Tadasana. Rock side to side. Wiggle the legs. Wiggle the arms, whatever you need here. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, surrender, melt and fold, Uttanasana. Step back, take a flow. Good, so make your way, whatever your journey is, back to down dog. Meeting in a down dog, take a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, sigh it out. Beautiful. Next, inhale. Rise onto the balls of the feet. As you exhale, send the heels to the right edge of your mat. Toes will point left. Good. Now bend the knees towards the left edge of your mat. Bring your gaze underneath the left armpit. Good. So you should feel a nice, juicy side body opening here. Stretching out all those abdominals we've been working. Good, inhale, reach the heels through center. Exhale, heels drop left, toes point right. 
Bend the knees to the right edge of your mat. Bring your gaze underneath the right armpit. Breathe. Good. Inhale, reach. And exhale, release the knees to the mat. We'll make our way into a quick puppy pose. And we'll come back to this posture before the end of our practice. So don't feel like you need to go all in right away. For puppy pose, hips will stay stacked over the knees. You can start in tabletop. As you exhale, start to lower the belly towards the earth. Maybe your forehead will rest, maybe your chin plants. So this is a pretty intense shoulder opener. Also stretches out our abdominals. Good. Feel yourself. Surrender your heart to the earth. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Next inhale, slowly pull the heart forward, coming into Sphinx Pose. Exhale, send the arms underneath the shoulders. Make your way to high plank. Beautiful. High planks, take a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, side out. Beautiful. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Press the hips up and back. Good. We'll take a few flows here. Inhale. Roll forward, high plank. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, child's pose. Just for a breath. Inhale, pour the weight forward, up dog or cobra. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, we'll take a couple more rounds just like that. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, side out. <sighs> Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, child's, just for a breath. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, down dog. Beautiful, last one, inhale, roll forward. Imagine your body was a wave. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, child's pose. Beautiful, inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, send the knees to the outside edges of your mat, sit back, take a child's pose. Good, in your child's pose here, Feel your heart beating in your chest. The seisha, the residue from your practice swirling around the body, all of the energy, the space and life that you've created on your mat. So beautiful. Good, we have one last little core push here, and then we'll make our way to some nice, juicy, relax relaxing stretches. In your child's pose, slowly make your way back to a down dog. Take your time getting there. So make your journey, whatever that is. Good. Down dogs, take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, sigh it out. Good, you have got this. Remind yourself you're a badass. Here we go. Inhale, sweep the right leg overhead. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, exhale, right leg sends up and back. Inhale, right knee to nose, join the spine. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, right knee, left elbow, pull it in. Now pause, sweep it to the right elbow. Good, pendulum swings here for five. Try to keep the hips as still as you can for four, three, two, one, right knee comes to the right elbow. Step the right foot on the outside of both of your hands for a lizard. Good, and a lizard, start to rock side to side. Roll around a bit here. When you feel ready, you can release the back left knee down to the mat. And start to get comfortable in your lizard here. Maybe you come down to the forearms. Maybe you catch a block or a pillow underneath the head. If it feels good, you can roll on to the edge of the right foot. Start to press this right hip open with the hand. Beautiful, inhale. 
inhale, slowly begin to lift out a blizzard. Lift the back knee if it was lifted or if it was lowered. Take a deep inhale, fill up. Exhale, step the left foot top of the mat. Sink the hips, molasses, or yogi squat. Our yogi squat, heels point in, toes point out. Use your elbows to press open on the knees, thumbs press into the sternum, hands are at heart center. Good, take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, sigh it out. Exhale, release the hands, send the hips up and back, Uttanasana, forward fold. Walk the feet in, hips width distance apart. Hang out heavy for a moment here in your, in your Uttanasana. Bring your gaze upwards towards the belly button. Let like gravity do its job here on the head and neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. Take a vinyasa. Beautiful, inhale in through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, sigh it out. Beautiful, inhale, sweep the left leg overhead, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. You know where we're going here. Engage the obliques. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, left knee to nose. Touch knee to forehead, press the earth away. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, left knee, right tricep. Bring it across the body, pause. Now pendulum swing to the left and right. Good, keep the hips where they are for five, four, three, you've got this, two, one, step the left foot outside of the hands. And find lizard on the left here. You can rock side to side. Come back to the breath. When you feel ready, release the back knee. We'll come into a few moments of stillness. Beautiful, when you feel ready, slowly begin to make your way out of blizzard. Keep the left toes pointing towards the outside edge of the mat, lift the back knee up. Step the right foot forward, sink the hips. Malasana, yogi squat. Good, hang out here in your malasana. Find that long channel of energy from the crown of the head Travels down the spinal column, all the way down, cervical, thoracic, lumbar. Feel that long line of energy shooting down towards the earth, swirling around the spine. Good, as you exhale, you can plant the hands behind you, and slowly lower the hips, and make our way into boat. So meeting in a boat, I want to move the fleshy parts of your sits bones out from underneath you. And lift the shins. Chest is open in our boat. Shins are parallel with the, with the mat. Palms face up. Good. Chin is parallel with the earth. Good. Now keep the shins where they are. As you exhale, start to alternate. Tap the toes. Beautiful. Awesome job. Keep the gaze towards the top of the mat. Shoulders are open. Good. We're here for three, two, one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, lower. Sweep the legs, rather, towards the ceiling. So have a little 90 degree bend of the body here. As you exhale, bring the hands behind the head. Elbows should be out of your peripherals. So really wide elbows here. Exhale, lower left foot down to a hover towards the bottom of the mat. Exhale, crunch left elbow, right knee. Good, here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Nice work, you've got this for three, two, 
One, switch the legs. Right leg comes to a hover, left toes are pointing towards the sky. Good, inhale, lift right elbow, left knee. We're here for 10, nine, eight. Remind yourself you're a badass. You have got this for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. Wiggle out the arms, the legs. Give yourself a pat on the back. Send some love to the body. You can windshield wiper the knees. Good. Beautiful job. On your inhale, pull the knees into the chest, rock side to side. And as you exhale, let both knees fall to the left edge of the mat. Right arm can come out to a T. Maybe the gaze falls with it. Maybe your tongue falls to the right cheek. Beautiful, inhale, slowly reach the knees through center. And exhale, knees fall right, gaze falls left. Good, twisting and rinsing out the belly, the abdominals. So much work and energy we just focused into the core. So see if you can send some love and some awareness to that area of the body. Good, inhale, reach the knees through center. And exhale, yogi's choice here. You can make your way straight to Shavasana or maybe you'd like to bring the legs to butterfly for one more gentle hip opening before your practice is complete. So if we're coming into butterfly leg, soles of the feet press together, let the knees drape open. You can put pillows or blocks underneath the knees for a bit more support if needed. Bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to the belly. Feel your heart beating in the chest, the center of life, of love. And with each inhale, feel the belly rise into the right hand, followed by the left, feel the chest lift. And as you exhale, lower the belly, lower the chest. Good, inhale into the belly, feel it expand to the right and left. Mm, lift the chest. Exhale, lower belly, then the left hand. Feel the body melt heavy into the earth beneath you. Feel the support and energy of Mother Earth swirling beneath the body. Feel a sense of interconnectedness Finally, bring your mind's eye to your seisha and the residue from your practice. Feel your own energy swirling around the body. And just notice, observe. You're welcome, if the legs are in butterfly, to extend them into Shavasana, let the hands drape to the sides of the body. And you are welcome to stay in the Shavasana for as long as time allows. I will leave you here today. I want to thank you so much for sharing your practice and energy and strength. The light within me bows to and honors the light within each and every one of you. Namaste.